There was a time when people had to queue in the streets for a taste of Madame Afi's delicious African food. Everybody here in Lagos, Nigeria, loves Madame Afi for her tasty treats. We keep improving. Our standard get, you know, going higher and higher every day. It's the secret. Nowadays, she is the proud owner of two restaurants that specialize in tribal cuisine from her home region. Mrs. Ofiong Okpo, also known as Madame Afi, and her daughter run these restaurants with authentic African flair. These two bubbly women know exactly what they want and what their customers want. We have uh, a special soup. Uh, it's called Edikangiko. And we prepare this soup. It takes a lot of time. And um, like if somebody is sent, a man is sent on transfer, their wives are almost scared because this soup is so delicious. It takes almost uh, you know, half of the day to prepare it. So any man who is sent on transfer to our state, their wives always think that we use uh, some charm uh, you know, to capture their men, but it's not the case. It's the good cooking. Edika Ayanko is one of our specialties. Bendy, Bendy, Bendy. Uh, yes. This green here, vegetable, it's called nkong, edikai kong, ugu. We cut it very finely. You can see how fine, how fine and how thin it is. And when you add this to the soup, it gives it a very, very good flavor. A lot of people make edikai kong, like my mom explained, but they don't cut it as fine as this. That is why it can never taste the way that we cook our own. Afi's cuisine is well known in Lagos and surrounds. But for these two entrepreneurs, this is not enough. There are so many things you can do when you do food. Uh, apart from the fact that we cook and sell food, we do outdoor catering as well for parties, for offices. And then we are planning to open a catering school. And then we plan to export soup, you know, package them like the Indians package their sauces and export them abroad. Only time will tell if these dreams will come true. In reality, when it comes to running a successful restaurant, Madam Afi knows exactly what she is talking about. Uh, you need to be um, very consistent in your standard. You need to be polite. Because all customers here, when they come in, I address them as, uh, welcome sir, welcome ma. You know, so you have to be very polite. You have to be um, very attentive, very articulate. You, know, you have to show respect. To your customers and for people who are thinking about starting their own restaurant she says well if you want to start a restaurant you don't have to cut corners you don't have to look at the profit you know you have to because i love to see my customer eat and lick the plate it gives me pleasure it's not that i made so much money but i'm happy that i'm still in the market after about 18 years so you have to be very consistent you have to maintain and keep improving on your standard. From roadside cooking to owning two restaurants, the ladies of Afi's Cuisine have big plans. I'm sure the next time you come to record us here, you come to a completely different um, environment. By that time, I'm sure this building will be a story building. We'll have our cookery school upstairs. We'll have a big hall for functions, parties and things like that. And then we'll also expand into hotels. So you shoot the restaurant and you come and shoot our hotel as well.